Hi, my name is Nikki. I'm the Obsessive Bookseller. In today's video, I'll be highlighting all of the new and upcoming releases that I'm most excited to read. A couple of these have come out within the last couple of weeks, but most of them are between now and March of 2022. Looking forward to new releases is one of the driving forces behind my passion for books. It is so exciting to have an author that you love and know that they are working on more titles that are probably going to dazzle as well. By order of publication, the first one is Play of Shadows by Sebastian de Castell. It's a brand new series. This is the same author that brought us the cheeky play on the Three Musketeers in his Great Coat series, and this is a completely new one from him. I'll admit the first Great Coats book was a little bit overdone, but as the series progressed, it got stronger and stronger. He found his stride, a nice balance between that irreverent humor and the serious grim dark things that were happening in the story. And I'm hoping that this one starts out strong. This one was released on June 24th. Next, just out on July 6th is Empire's Ruin. And this is by Brian Stavely. The Unhewn Throne series by him, it's a trilogy, it's one of my all-time favorites. The first book especially has a nice balance of politics and training sequences with the giant bird creatures that they ride, and enough mystery to keep me engaged the whole time. My favorite thing about this series is the world building. It's a five-star read, one of my favorites of all time. I don't recommend it super often because for me the trilogy didn't end as strongly as it started, but this new book is set in the same world. Since I didn't particularly care for the ending, the fact that this is a new book set in the same world means the story continues and I can consider the end of the trilogy not the true end of the series, and so there's room there for more satisfaction in future books. And maybe eventually I'll be saying it's one of my all-time favorites from start to finish, but we'll see how it goes. Out this week is a spin-off novel from The Reckoner series by Brandon Sanderson. It's an audible-only one. It's called Lux. It was co-written with another author, and it is set in the same world and kind of continues the story a little bit. I've heard a lot of mixed reviews about Reckoners. For me personally, it was one of the better young adult books that I've read, but I think a lot of the criticism comes from the adult fantasy only readers who love Sanderson and wanted to have more from him and didn't like it as much as his high fantasy things. But for me, I already had been reading a lot of young adults and it was still one of the better ones, even though the third book was kind of weak. This one is released on July 22nd. I have two books on the list that are probably my top priorities. One of them is coming out August 24th and it's called Pariah by Anthony Ryan. His Draconius Memoria is in my top three series of all time. So of all the books I've read, it's landed in the top three. And I really loved his Blood Song book as well. So this one, brand new series, great concept, grim dark. I haven't read much about it because I don't like to spoil myself for anything when I dive into books I'm really looking forward to. And this one will probably get started almost as soon as it comes out. In fact, I'm kind of resisting getting an arc for it now because per my last video I am trying to read only one book at a time and I know bringing that aboard right now I would have to set down a bunch of other things that I've started but it's been really difficult not picking that one up early but it's kind of fun actually having something to look forward to. The next one is Last Graduate by Naomi Novik. It's part of her Scholomance series. The first book in this series is called A Deadly Education, and it came out last year, and it's probably one of my favorite reads of the year. I wasn't sure at first, because the character is kind of angsty, and she gets in her own way a lot, but I eventually came around to really appreciating that about her, because the author didn't set out to make her likable right out of the gate. And it's a magic school where the stakes are deadly. It's kind of a cool hybrid between a dystopian and a school setting fantasy where if you don't do well, 
you might die. So the stakes were high and I really liked all of the components. I love that it was a teen aged cast of characters, but it wasn't filled with a lot of young adult tropes. There was a love interest, but it didn't dominate the story. Her problems were more broad than that, and I absolutely loved it. It's a duology. This will be the series ender, and I'm really looking forward to it. That one will be out September 28th. The next one I have written down comes out on October 5th, and it's called Blood of the Chosen. But unfortunately, I did not write down the author or the series, and I'm currently using my phone to film. So I'm going to include a picture. Chances are, if it's on my list, it's because it's from an author that I love. So we'll go with that. I mentioned that there are two of them on my list that I'm most anticipating. The first one was definitely Pariah. The second one is emphatically Leviathan Falls by James S.A. Corey. It's the final book in the Expanse series. This has been my favorite sci-fi series since back when there were only three books out, there wasn't a show yet. And since then, I have just devoured everything. I've watched the show, I've reread the books. I absolutely love Daniel Abraham's writing style as well, but I believe it's also written by Ty Frank, who was a ghostwriter for George R. R. Martin. Daniel Abraham is one of my favorite writers. He has a series called Long Price Quartet, which is one of the most beautifully written things I've ever read. I love his ability to integrate complex world building with amazingly deep characters. And I think he takes all of that into his Expanse series with his co-writer. I'm at the point where I have absolutely no idea where the story is going to go. I hope it's a satisfying ending because I'm anticipating it so highly. There's a lot of room for it to be disappointing. So fingers crossed that I love it. Next on my list out November 23rd is Sanderson's final Skyward novel. I think there's only three in this trilogy, but I might be mistaken. It's called Cytonic, and I really enjoyed the first book in the series. The second one got a little too over animated and a little bit ridiculous for me. It took it very juvenile, whereas the first book was kind of more badass. And I'm hoping he swings back around and concludes it with a little more of a serious overtone. I might be judging the writing for how the audiobook presented the story. It was kind of very junior in some of the scenes in how the characters were talking to each other. It kind of stole my enthusiasm for the series as a whole. So of all the books on my list right now, this one's probably lowest priority, but I still would like to see how it ends. Because it's a Sanderson, I'm gonna pick it up. And finally, it has a cover. We look forward to it every March. Soul Taken by Patricia Briggs. It's another installment in the Mercy Thompson world. And this is an auto buy series for me and author. I will read anything Mercy Thompson Alpha Omega. I think the cover is gorgeous and I can't wait to get my hands on it. I have a few honorable mentions. There are a couple of work in progress books from authors I love, but there's no release date or cover yet. But I've been kind of following their websites to see what they've got in the works next. One of them is James Islington, author of the Lycanius trilogy, one of the best ones I've ever read. He's got a new book in process. It's called The Will of the Many, and it's book one in the Hierarchy series. I think I read that that one will be out kind of late 2022, early 23. I can't imagine it won't be as good as his other series. He's such a great writer. And the next one I've been following is Brian McClellan. His Promise of Blood is one of my all-time favorite books, and he's probably also in my top three all-time favorite authors for all of the works I've read for him so far. His new series is called The Glass Immortals, and I believe we're looking at a release of the first book sometime next year, late next year. And as always, I am waiting on The Thorn of Ember Lane by Scott Lynch. It's book four in the Gentleman Bastard series. And if you like grimdark books, if you like humor, thieving stories, th this is 
amazing. One of the best on the market. I've heard a lot of people refer to it as like Ocean's Eleven meets Joe Abercrombie. That's not a bad comparison because it does have elements from both. And it's one of the funniest series I've ever read. Rumor has it the author suffers from severe anxiety and that's why it takes so long for him to write his books. But I've heard that he is making a lot of great momentum, taking a lot of pressure off of himself, and is looking to release this new one within the next couple of years. So are you anticipating any of these? Are there any that I didn't mention that you're looking forward to as well? I'd love to hear about it. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video and I will catch you next time.